Imagine living a life filled with abundance, joy, and personal growth, where your dreams and desires flow effortlessly into your reality. This is the promise of the Law of Attraction, a powerful universal principle that encourages us to align our energy with the loving vibrations of the universe. By simply shifting our thoughts and beliefs to a higher frequency, we can manifest the life we've always wanted. Yet many of us unknowingly cling to habits that disrupt this flow, trapping us in cycles of lack and limitation. To truly transform our lives, we must first cultivate awareness. It's often the subtle, unnoticed behaviors and mindsets that sabotage our ability to attract the positive experiences we seek. Do you find yourself plagued by self-doubt or negative self-talk? Or perhaps a fear of failure holds you back? These energetic blocks can prevent you from embracing the abundance that is your birthright. By shining a light on these hidden patterns, we can clear the path for our true desires to unfold. Together, let's explore how to recognize and release these barriers so we can step into the abundant life we deserve. In this video, I will guide you to identifying and eliminating the deadly habits that block the law of attraction in our lives. By recognizing these habits and taking proactive steps to reverse them, we can unlock the full potential of manifestation. Together we will explore the subtle yet powerful shifts needed to create a life filled with love, joy, and abundance. Remember, the universe is always ready to respond to our intentions. All we need to do is align ourselves with the positive energy that attracts our highest good. One of the most damaging habits when it comes to manifesting desires is doubt and lack of belief. Doubt creates confusion and sends mixed signals to the universe, making it difficult for you to align with the goals and experiences you want to attract. When you don't fully believe in the possibility of success or happiness, you essentially block the flow of positive energy needed for manifestation. This lack of confidence creates internal resistance which hinders progress and leaves you stuck in a cycle of unfulfilled dreams. Doubt often stems from deeply ingrained fears and past disappointments, causing individuals to second-guess their abilities and the likelihood of achieving their goals. This internal dialogue of uncertainty, whether conscious or unconscious, weakens your ability to maintain focus on your desires. Instead of seeing opportunities, you begin to focus on obstacles, reinforcing the belief that success is unattainable. This creates a self-fulfilling prophecy where the more you doubt, the less progress you make, and the less progress you make, the more you doubt. When you allow doubt to dominate your thoughts, you lower your vibrational frequency, which the Law of Attraction teaches is crucial to attracting what you want. The universe responds to the energy you emit, and if that energy is filled with hesitation or disbelief, the universe reflects that uncertainty back to you. As a result, you may find yourself facing delays, setbacks, or even the complete absence of progress toward your goals. In essence, doubt not only slows down the manifestation process, but can entirely block it. To overcome this, it's essential to build unwavering belief in your ability to manifest your desires. One of the most effective ways to combat doubt is through consistent positive affirmations. My teachings encourage the use of statements such as, I am deserving of all good things, or I trust that everything is unfolding for my highest good. These affirmations, when repeated with conviction, help rewire the subconscious mind to focus on abundance rather than lack. Over time, this practice weakens doubt and replaces it with confidence and a deep sense of faith in the process. The key to eliminating doubt lies in persistence. 
even when results aren't immediately visible, maintaining a strong belief system ensures that you stay on track and aligned with your goals. The second most damaging habits we can have when trying to manifest our desires is fear and anxiety. These feelings not only make us feel uncomfortable, but they can also really drag down our energy levels. You see, when we're scared or anxious, we're sending out a low vibrational frequency, which makes it harder to attract the positive outcomes we want. Fear often comes from worrying about what might go wrong. And guess what? That kind of thinking can actually pull those negative outcomes into our lives. It's like we're putting a spotlight on all the things we're afraid of, which just brings more of them our way. So how do we overcome fear? Well, there are some great techniques we can use. Mindfulness and deep breathing are two powerful tools. Mindfulness helps us observe our fears without getting overwhelmed by them. It teaches us that these feelings are just passing emotions, not permanent roadblocks. And deep breathing, that's a game changer. Taking a few deep breaths activates our body's relaxation response, helping to calm our nerves and clear our minds. When we're more relaxed, it's easier to shift our focus away from fear and start embracing more positive, empowering thoughts. Speaking of empowering thoughts, replacing those fear-based ideas with positive affirmations is a fantastic way to combat anxiety. Try telling yourself things like, I am safe, I trust the process, or I can handle any challenge that comes my way. When you make these affirmations a part of your daily routine, they really help shift your mindset. Before long, you'll find that confidence starts to replace fear. Now, let's take a quick look at the science behind this. Neuroscience shows that when we're in a fearful state, a part of our brain called the amygdala goes into overdrive. This is the part responsible for our fight or flight response. And when it's working overtime, it can actually slow down the part of the brain that helps us think clearly and make decisions. This means fear can seriously get in the way of our ability to focus on our goals and take the steps we need to manifest what we truly want. So by learning to manage our fear and anxiety, we open up space for clearer thinking and a stronger connection to our desires. Let's talk about the third habit that can really hold us back from manifesting our desires, complaining and negative speech. When we indulge in negativity, we inadvertently reinforce a victim mindset. You see, every time we complain, we're sending a message to the universe that we're stuck in our circumstances, unable to create the changes we want. This mindset blocks the positive manifestations we're trying to attract, making it feel like we're trapped in a cycle of dissatisfaction and lack. Instead of focusing on what we can do to improve our lives, we end up fixating on our problems, which only brings more of them our way. In my teachings, I emphasize the importance of being mindful of our words. The language we use has immense power, and when we speak negatively about ourselves or our circumstances, we are essentially affirming those very beliefs. I encourage everyone to monitor their speech and consistently use positive language. This doesn't mean we ignore our feelings or pretend that challenges don't exist. Rather, it's about choosing to express ourselves in ways that empower us and align with our desires. Instead of saying, I can't do this, try saying, I am capable of overcoming this challenge. I, this subtle shift in language can create a ripple effect of positivity in our lives. To further shift our energy, I recommend incorporating daily practices of gratitude and positive self-talk. Start each day by listing three things you're grateful for, no matter how small they may seem. 
Gratitude helps raise your vibration and shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right in your life. Along with that, make it a habit to engage in positive self-talk. Look in the mirror and affirm your worth and abilities. Say things like, I am deserving of love and happiness, or I have the strength to create the life I want. These affirmations not only reinforce positive beliefs about ourselves, but also attract more positivity into our lives. Remember, the words we speak shape our reality. By shifting away from complaining and negative speech and embracing positivity, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. So let's commit to using our words wisely and watch how our lives begin to transform. Let's delve into another habit that can truly hinder our ability to manifest our desires, inaction and procrastination. Now, while the law of attraction beautifully emphasizes the power of our thoughts and mental energy, it's essential to understand that physical action plays a crucial role in the manifestation process. You can visualize and affirm your goals all day long, but if you don't take steps toward achieving them, you may find yourself stuck in the same place, feeling frustrated and unfulfilled. I always say that the journey of manifestation begins with action. It doesn't have to be big, sweeping gestures. In fact, I believe in taking small, consistent steps toward your goals. Each little action you take is a signal to the universe that you're serious about your desires. It demonstrates your commitment to the process and opens the door for opportunities to flow into your life. So, instead of letting fear or uncertainty hold you back, trust in the journey. Each step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to your dreams. Let's look at some real-life success stories that illustrate the power of consistent action. There are countless individuals who once found themselves paralyzed by procrastination, feeling overwhelmed by their goals or unsure of how to begin. However, by committing to small daily actions, they began to shift their lives in incredible ways. For instance, a woman who always dreamed of starting her own business started by dedicating just 15 minutes a day to research and planning. Over time, those 15 minutes added up, and before she knew it, she had a fully functioning business. Another example is a man who wanted to improve his health, but felt overwhelmed by the idea of a complete lifestyle overhaul. Instead of diving in head first, he simply committed to taking a short walk each day. Gradually, as he incorporated more small changes into his routine, he experienced significant transformations in both his physical and mental well-being. These stories remind us that action is a vital part of the manifestation equation. Trust the process, embrace the journey, and remember that every small step you take is a step in the right direction. By overcoming inaction and procrastination, you can create the life you truly desire. So let's make the commitment today to take those small steps and watch the universe respond in beautiful ways. Let's explore a habit that can weigh heavily on our hearts and minds, holding on to grudges and resentment. You might not realize it, but unresolved anger can really tie up our mental energy, keeping us stuck in the past. When we cling to these negative feelings, we're essentially allowing them to drain our life force and block the positive energy needed for manifestation. It's like carrying a heavy backpack filled with stones everywhere you go. This burden can limit our ability to attract joy, love, and abundance into our lives because we're focused on old wounds instead of opening ourselves to new possibilities. In my teachings, I often emphasize the importance of forgiveness. Forgiveness isn't just about letting someone else off the hook. It's a powerful tool for our own healing. When we forgive, 
We release the hold that past experiences have on us, freeing up that mental energy to focus on what truly matters. It's a gift we give ourselves, allowing us to move forward without the weight of resentment dragging us down. Forgiveness helps clear the path for new, positive experiences to enter our lives, creating space for love and joy to flourish. Now you may wonder how to let go of those lingering feelings of anger and resentment. One effective method is journaling. Take some time to write down your feelings. Don't hold back. Let your emotions flow onto the page. This can be a cathartic way to process what you're feeling and understand why you're holding on to those negative emotions. After you've expressed those feelings, try writing a letter to the person you're holding a grudge against, even if you never send it. This act can help you release those pent-up emotions and gain closure. Alongside journaling, I recommend using positive affirmations as a tool for emotional healing. Simple statements like, I forgive and release all negativity can work wonders. Repeat these affirmations daily to reinforce your commitment to letting go of grudges. Each time you say them, visualize yourself freeing those negative emotions, feeling lighter and more at peace. Remember, holding on to grudges only serves to keep you stuck in the past. By embracing forgiveness and actively working on letting go, you create a beautiful space for healing and growth. So let's choose to forgive and release, allowing ourselves to move forward into a brighter, more positive future. You deserve it. Let's take a moment to talk about a habit that can truly transform our lives, the lack of gratitude. You see, when we focus on what we don't have, we create an energy of lack and limitation. But when we shift our attention to what we already have, we open the door to more positivity and abundance. Gratitude is like a magnet for good things. The more we appreciate the blessings in our lives, the more we attract experiences that resonate with that positive energy. It's a beautiful cycle that can enhance our overall well-being and happiness. In my teachings, I often recommend the practice of daily gratitude journaling as a powerful tool to help us shift our focus away from lack. By taking just a few minutes each day to write down the things we're thankful for, Big or small, we train our minds to recognize and celebrate the abundance that already exists in our lives. This simple act can profoundly change our perspective, helping us to see the glass as half full instead of half empty. When we embrace gratitude, we cultivate a mindset that draws in more blessings, creating a ripple effect of positivity. Let me share some inspiring examples of individuals who have used gratitude to overcome challenging circumstances. There's a story of a woman who lost her job and felt overwhelmed by fear and uncertainty. Instead of succumbing to despair, she decided to keep a gratitude journal. Each day, she focused on the things she appreciated, her supportive friends, her health, and even the small joys like a beautiful sunset. Over time, this practice shifted her mindset from one of lack to one of abundance. As she continued to express gratitude, she not only attracted new job opportunities, but also discovered a newfound confidence and resilience within herself. Another example is a man who faced serious health challenges. By consciously choosing to focus on what he was grateful for, such as the love of his family and the support of his friends, he was able to cultivate a more positive outlook on life. This shift not only improved his mental and emotional state, but also positively impacted his physical healing journey. These stories remind us of the transformative power of gratitude. By consciously practicing gratitude each day, we can shift our energy, attract more positivity, 
and create a life filled with abundance. So let's commit to embracing gratitude as a daily practice. You'll be amazed at how it can change your life for the better. As we wrap up our discussion today, let's take a moment to recap the six deadly habits that can block our ability to manifest our desires. First, we explored the damaging effects of doubt and lack of belief. When we doubt ourselves, we send mixed signals to the universe, hindering our manifestations. Next, we talked about fear and anxiety, which can lower our vibrational energy and attract negative outcomes. Holding on to grudges and resentment was another significant habit we discussed, as these feelings create an energy blockage that keeps us stuck in the past. We also delved into the dangers of complaining and negative speech, which reinforce a victim mindset and prevent us from embracing the positive possibilities in our lives. Furthermore, we highlighted how inaction and procrastination can delay our progress, reminding us that while our thoughts are powerful, taking consistent action is essential for manifestation. Finally, we examined the lack of gratitude, which can create an energy of lack and limit our ability to attract abundance. Now I want to leave you with some empowering messages that resonate deeply with my philosophy. Remember, you have the power to shape your thoughts and actions to align with your desires. Each day is a new opportunity to consciously choose how you respond to life's challenges and to direct your energy toward what you truly want. You are not a victim of your circumstances. Rather, you are the creator of your reality. Embrace this truth and let it inspire you to take charge of your life. I encourage you to actively practice the principles we discussed today. Start by monitoring your thoughts and words, replacing negativity with positivity. Embrace the power of forgiveness to release any lingering grudges and make room for new, uplifting experiences. Create a daily gratitude practice to celebrate the abundance already in your life. And don't shy away from taking those small, consistent actions that lead you toward your goals. Transformation doesn't happen overnight, but by applying these principles daily, you can create meaningful changes in your life. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. Celebrate each step you take no matter how small, and trust that the universe is responding to your commitment to align with your desires. As you embark on this journey, know that you are supported by a loving universe. Your thoughts are powerful and your actions matter. Let today be the day you choose to step into your power and start manifesting the life you truly desire. You are worthy of all the good things life has to offer, so go out there and create your beautiful reality.